Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. In the previous video we talked about microevolution, how that is the change in the allele frequencies within a population, and we said that three main things cause microevolution, natural selection, genetic drift, and gene flow. In this video we're going to be exploring all these three things. If you don't have any idea what microevolution is, I highly recommend you go and watch the previous video. So let's get into it. Here's a review on what natural selection is. Natural selection is when organisms with traits better suited to their environment tend to produce more offspring. For example, a fruit fly which is resistant to an insecticide will increase its frequency in a population that is, that is exposed to that insecticide. So basically, the fruit flies which are resistant will reproduce and survive, and the fruit flies which are not resistant will die off and not reproduce as much until the population has that resistance. And natural selection can cause what's called adaptive evolution. What is adaptive evolution? Adaptive evolution is what evolution that results in a better match between an organism and its environment. For example, a horse's teeth. Adaptive evolution can cause a horse's teeth in the population to make the structure and the shape of the teeth make it fit for a grass diet. So basically the structure and the shape of the teeth will eventually match and be perfected for the diet of that horse until the, all the organisms in that population of horses have that perfect teeth. Now obviously natural selection can cause changes in causes microevolution, sorry, because it's selecting for the alleles that better suit the environment and we talked about that in the previous video, so go ahead and check it out. Now let's see how genetic drift and uh, gene flow affect uh, cause microevolution. So genetic drift is a process in which the genetic composition of a population, so all the genes in a population, that all these allele frequencies just change due to chance or random events rather than by natural selection. It's most common in small populations. You don't see this happening in large populations. And there's two known types of genetic drift, the founder effect and the bottleneck effect. So let's look at those. The founder effect is when in few individuals become isolated from the larger population and form a new population whose gene pool does not relate to that of the original population. For example, okay, when a few members of a population are blown to a new island by a large storm and they start creating a separate population on the island. Okay, so you have all these members and then a couple of them are just blown off. So whenever this happens, you only have a few organisms, hence this small population. And because of that, you're going to get a, the, the population that these guys over here form on their separate island is going to have different allele frequencies than what this population over here had. Okay, so because of that, that's an example of microevolution. The second type of genetic drift is the bottleneck effect. The bottleneck effect is when a new population is formed due to a severe drop in population size. So basically like this catastrophic event happens and like a flood, a fire, or a landslide, and the population ends up recovering from the bottleneck effect with which will the, the sorry, a po the population which recovers from the bottleneck effect will have low genetic variation for long periods of time. So basically you can think of it like this. So you have a large amount of species and then a catastrophic event sorry, a large amount of organisms, so a large population, and a catastrophic event causes only a few of them to survive. So this is called the, um, uh, this is like the bottleneck, okay? A drastic reduction in the population. And then the surviving individuals reproduce and create the next generation. So when this happens, what happens is that you have a loss of genetic variation, okay? When you have a loss of genetic variation, what's basically happening is that the allele frequencies are starting to change again, and because of that, the bottleneck effect is an example of microevolution. So bottleneck effect, bottleneck effect is typically bad, because when you lose genetic variation, you can't have natural selection, and when you can't have natural selection, the population can't evolve. So bottleneck effect is not a good thing. So here are the main points for genetic drift, again, just to recap. Most significant in small populations, it can cause allele frequencies to change at random, um, either increase or decrease. Because of that, genetic drift is an example of microevolution. It can lead to a loss of genetic variation within populations, which is the negative side of genetic drift. 
But however, genetic drift can also cause harmful alleles to become beneficial in some cases. Now, the last type of last mechanism which can cause microevolution, remember the first two were natural selection and genetic drift, the last one is gene flow. So gene flow is the movement of genes and alleles from one population of species to another. Okay, And what happens is it typically reduces the genetic differences between populations. It combines two populations into one with a common gene pool. And it can affect how populations adapt to their local environmental conditions. So basically what's happening is that you have one, let's say you have two populations of deer which live in separate areas. And then one of them goes to the other um, population and starts mating. And then another comes from this population of deer and comes over here and starts mating. And eventually what happens is you see this combination of the two populations. And because of that, you, you, can, you have a, a reduction in genetic differences between the two populations and they start to fuse together. Okay. That's gene flow. And that can cause um, changes in allele frequencies again because you have a one population with specific allele frequencies, you have another population with um, specific allele frequencies. When they merge together, obviously these allele frequencies are going to change. And because of that, gene flow is an example, another final example of microevolution. But that's it for now. Natural selection, genetic drift, and gene flow are as simple as that.